What's going on guys? My name's Jack and welcome back to a brand new video. We are just leaving the dock again. We've fixed a load of things. We still have loads more to do to prepare for our trip across the Med. But more importantly, we're gonna learn how to sail. Let's get into it. So today is day three, and day one basically involved motoring over to somewhere, doing a bit of sailing, or Wally showing us how sailing is done, bearing in mind Richard and I have never really done any sailing at all. Took us over there, we anchored, and it was a bit of an intense crash course really. And today we're doing much of the same, we're doing six and a half knots at a minute under motor, and he's gonna teach us how to sail, he's gonna teach us all the terms, you know, the halyards, I can't even think of all, all the other terms that we've been taught today. There's just a long list. But now we're going to get into various things like shaking out a reef, raising mainsail, jibes, tacks, all that kind of stuff, and um, hopefully learn plenty more about this amazing boat. like five or six nautical miles and the beginning little formations of, of white caps so it's going to be ideal to go back and forth okay and once you go back and forth what we're going to do is put up the genoa you're going to put up the genoa and then we're going to trim the sails based on a broad reach 90 degree beam wind okay all right <laughs> what does it take explain to me what it takes to shake the reef out so, have we got a luff the mainsail? Is the mainsail luffed? Yes. How do you know? Because we are going into it. And? And there's slack in the sail. Yes, there's no pressure in the sail. You have to identify where the wind's coming from, and then set your sails, your course, your desire according. Okay. So if you don't know where the wind's coming from, it's not gonna work out. Exactly, so we're gonna go this way, and then We've said earlier that this boat perhaps is best with a beam reach or a beam. Um, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Uh, broad reach. It can be with, both sides. With the, current, with the current sails. Yeah. Being a catamaran, it does not point you to wind particularly well. Okay. So we're just motoring back in now. We're doing 6.7 knots, 2,300 RPM. And we've had our first kind of crash course, really. We've learned how to furl the Genoa, raise the mainsail, reef the mainsail. See, I'm still learning all of it. Um, port, starboard, front, aft, all of that kind of stuff. I have no idea about much, really, but, you know, we can do a, a, a jive and a no, no idea, see, uh, a jibe and attack, there we go, brilliant. Learn about parts of the sail, you've got the head, you've got the tack, the clue. I'm starting to remember it all now. Make a sail out of me one day, but today isn't the day, so at least we know some bits and pieces before we set off on our 12 day passage. And, um, and hopefully it keeps us a little bit safer for when Waleed and Angus are barking orders at us. <laughs> Good fun though. It's hot as hell after a day of sailing. I'm pretty much sunburnt. And um, we're gonna go while he's doing circles. Drifting. <laughs> So now we're going to go and visit this boatyard where they build all these mega yachts. 
Apparently it's incredible, really excited to see it. We're going. See how, see how good my drift was right into the parking space? The level of concentration. Oh my god! I love the way those guys are sat up there. <laughs> As if they're in the water. Wow. Wow, that's boat building, huh? That is old school boat building. I've seen better. Yes. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Well, well, why don't I come back now? Now we Hi. I was going to touch it, but I don't want to touch it. It's actually almost hard to believe the amount of work that goes on here and the size of this boat. You know, it's. When, when you can, f I could probably fit my whole body into that hole with a motor that controls the stern. Is that right? Let's see, I'm not getting it. Let's see, but anyway, this, this motor that controls the direction of the front of the boat, I could like fit my whole body in there. And like from where we were, it was almost hard to appreciate how big this boat was. And then now you're stood by it. It's enormous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't even look like a regular boatyard that you would see in the UK, does it? You know? Some of these are just propped up by bits of wood and people are just climbing on the side of them and painting them and cleaning them. It's ridiculous. It's so cool. Are you kidding me? I ain't got the finesse. That's all she got. <laughs> oh my god, what a fun adventure. Uh, so much food. It's 12 days worth of food, or what I have presumed to be 12 days worth of food, but it's just hard to put stuff everywhere. Fridge, are, fridge is only so big, and you want it organised, so when you want to cook, when we're on the move or whatever, you can just go in and grab it. But So, it's pretty much the end of the day. We are just waiting for our clearance so we can actually leave. Everything's sorted, we've got the running rig in sorted, I found out what the running rigging means. I've learned a whole bunch of new boating terms and sailing terms that I never thought I would know. Learned the very, very, very basics of sailing, i.e. what things are called, not much more than that. But I'm sure we're gonna learn it all over the next 12 days at sea. And um, yeah, so we're kind of just waiting for our clearance really. If we can get on the water, the next two weeks are gonna be super interesting. Sailing non-stop. When it's good to sail, we'll sail. When it's not good and there's no wind, we'll just motor along and uh, we'll see how Rich gets on with his seasickness really. I think it'll be really interesting. That's certainly gonna add to the fun factor of the trip. Really excited to get on the water, get out there, see Rich vomiting and share the whole experience with you guys. I'm so green to it all, so there's gonna be so many mistakes and errors in general. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later! <laughs> <laughs> Not fair, that is it. No.